Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are, welcome. Today, we're going to talk about how to be an awesome donor, right? We spend a lot of time talking to donors, but how to be an awesome donor yourself, because we are all philanthropists, right? Whether we are seven or 47 or 87, we all have the opportunity to make the world a slightly better place. All right, so people give for all sorts of different reasons. I'm gonna link a resource below that will help you determine why do you give, right? What are your values that fuel your philanthropy? And what might your path forward as a philanthropist look like? Like what are some of the action, what are some of the actions that you wanna take going forward to ensure that you're making the impact in the world that you wanna make? Okay, and if you find this helpful, please hit like and subscribe to my channel that will help other people learn about how to be an awesome donor. All right, here are some of the reasons why people give. They give out of loyalty and you'll see this with universities like are you a duck or are you a beaver. Um, they give sometimes out of guilt right? They may have guilt feelings about how they've accumulated their largesse, and they may feel like offloading some of that largesse will help them kind of feel a little bit lighter about how it is that they develop their wealth. People give because they see other people doing it. The pay it forward phenomenon is very contagious. So you might see that somebody in your peer group made a gift to an organization, and you start to think about like, well, if they're doing it, then surely I can do it. In addition, that provides social proof. Like if so-and-so is giving to that organization, it must be a great place. So maybe I can support them. Social proof is so important in the nonprofit sector. People give to gain a sense of meaning and purpose, to be part of something bigger than themselves, right? Like it's part of our self-identity. We are the kind of people who make gifts. And then of course, we give for the dopamine and the serotonin and the oxytocin, that zhuzh we get when we make a gift, that warm, fuzzy feeling we talk about is a real thing. This is, this is brain chemistry. And of course, people who are philanthropic do live longer. So there's that. People give because they've learned to do so at the apron strings of their parents or their grandparents or their community, their neighbors. They've learned from an early age that giving is important and it's just built into their self-identity. People give because they are grateful, like grateful patients. People give for all sorts of different reasons, but of course, as fundraisers, we know that the number one reason why people give is because they are asked, right? People need to be asked to make that commitment and that is our job as a fundraiser. So we all know how important it is to support the nonprofit sector, but just to reiterate, right? The work that we do is noble. And the work that we do, the work that our nonprofits do is unique and valuable, right? We are solving some of the world's most intractable problems and elevating humanity in ways that the private sector and our government can't, right? We are the boots on the ground, understanding what our communities need and doing it in a way that's innovative and unique and that really meets the needs of our beneficiaries, okay? So we are the fuel behind the engine of the nonprofit sector. And it's so important that we all play the role that we can in supporting those nonprofits with our philanthropy. All right, as promised, here's my three tips on how to be a great donor, how to be an awesome donor. Number one, budget. It's so important that you know where the money is coming from. That's how you develop the year in, year out habit of giving. So have a budget. Can you give via your windfalls? Absolutely, absolutely. You can boost up your philanthropy with those one-off opportunities, whether it's, you know, <laughs> your you know, grandma sent you $100 for your birthday, or you got a bonus at work, or you have a merit increase, or you have a taxable event. So think about where the money is come from, coming from and begin to develop that lifelong habit of giving. Second of all, it's really important to walk the walk. That's my second hot tip. You must walk the walk. We hear lots of people talking about the impact that they're making in the world. They're giving to this organization. They are social impact leaders. They are community leaders. And that is so important. 
But walking the walk is really where it's at. Actually doing the thing, parting with your money. So walking the walk is my second tip and it's so important. And then thirdly, and most importantly, is approach your giving with humility. What a privilege it is to be in a position to give away money, whether it's a dollar or a million or a billion, right? It takes a special kind of person. It takes a deep understanding of who we are and what our self-identity is. And it takes having a little bit of a little bit of money to give away, right? So be humble about that. Approach your philanthropy with humility and know deeply that your role is to support the mission of the organization, to support the leaders of the organization. They are the one, ones carrying out that important work. And our job as donors is to fuel that engine. And if you ever have doubts about the way that that nonprofit is operating, or if you think you could do it better, or you think that other organizations are doing it better, there are so many nonprofits out there to support. Totally select another nonprofit. It is okay to do that. And, and I'll just say what executive directors and fundraisers might not be able to say to you, which is it would actually be better for you to make a gift somewhere else than to exert undue influence due to your giving, okay? So humility, budget, walking the walk and approaching your giving with humility. Those are my three tips. I hope this is helpful. Like I said, I'm gonna link a resource below that will help you examine your values and create help you create a path forward for your giving. If you find this helpful, please hit like, and subscribe to my channel so other people can learn about how to be an awesome donor. My name is Ann Murphy. I'm with the Empowered Fundraiser, empoweredfundraiser.com. It's been a delight to be with you. Please comment below and let me know how this resonated. Let me know what's important to you, why you make gifts, and if you have any tips on how to be an awesome donor. All right. Thank you for being here.